Hi, how is everyone? Welcome back or welcome if you're new here. I'm Oriel. Today we're starting a brand new Project Pan project. I'm actually really excited for this video. I've heard... <laughs> I still don't fully understand like the concept of this thing. I'm just really excited. I had to jump in here I have like a full face of makeup on that was like for something else I had to jump in here because I saw this project online and I knew I wanted to be a part of it I feel like that is how it always is. I'm not really <laughs> Like in touch with the project pan community because it seems like everyone knows everyone and they're all friends But I found this project. Let me get the name right. It is called the project pan roulette makeup challenge and I guess the idea is you pick six random numbers with a random number generator and then you go into this giant spreadsheet that has categories and then categorically you go through and you pick the items for the category that you want to focus on for the month and I believe it updates on the 23rd of every month from now until January 23rd so <laughs> it just seems fun like I love having a way to shop my stash for project pan specifically and I just lost the footage for my deck of panning update so that's really sad and I'm like way overdue for that so two days late is better than like 10 days late so we're gonna do this project in Instead, um, I have my computer here so that way we can do the actual number pulling randomly together. So we're going to random number generator 44, 47, 69, 52. I know people have like phone apps and that's so special, which is cool. Um, and let's do two more 85 and 99. Okay. I am going to go through my collection after searching through here, um, and then we'll see what I come up with. Okay, number 44 is a product that twists up, and immediately the product that sprung to mind is my lipstick from Maybelline in 475 Brown Blush, which is the worst name for this product because it is actually a purple lipstick. Uh, I think it would be a better color for what I'm wearing on the lips today because I'm hella patchy. I wanted like a blurred lip line, but I feel like with a dark lip, sometimes it's blurry and cute, and then sometimes it's blurry and it looks messy. But this is a purple tone. It's like a very wearable, cool toned purple lipstick, and it is the only lipstick that I currently own that works really well for a cool, grungy look like what I have today. I used to be like that girl. I mean, I talked about this on my channel before. I used to be that girl in high school who wore black lipstick, and now I'm no longer her. So I want to be that girl again. So this is going to be 575. I think based on my makeup consumption habits of the last couple weeks, months, <laughs> half of the year. Um, I don't think it's going to be a problem. It seems like something that I'm really going to like. So that's what we have for my first one. Let's move on to the next one. 47 is a product that is some kind of lotion. And that is so funny because I really want to use this. This is the True Match Lumi Lotion. I really want to get through some of this product. This has been tremendous for mixing into products. If you haven't seen my video on reviewing, blah, 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 blah. if you haven't seen my video on reviewing recent makeup purchases, do check it out because I talk about this product being really handy for or lightening the coverage on something, giving your skin a little bit of a glow, putting it on top of your cheeks as a highlight. It feels like a better version of what you can DIY yourself. <laughs> and so um, for me, being that my favorite uh, complexion combination so far has been the combination of these two products. And when I do that, I get a little bit of a very full coverage look. Um, adding this in has been tremendous in terms of allowing me to customize the coverage and everything. So that is definitely the product that I want to pan in for this one. The next one is 69. Yeah, yeah. 69 is a product in your collection that doesn't get enough love. I mean, that's very vague <laughs> because it feels like in my collection, um, I, I own a lot of different things, you know what I mean? And I guess it's kind of hard to say what gets love and what doesn't get love. You know what I mean? I don't know. Let me think about it and then let me get back to you. Um, we're going to skip to the next one. 52. 52 is um, a product for the current season. Yes, baby. I cannot wait for this one. For this one, I am going to do... Which one do I want to do? Do I want to do wine and only or do I want to do all that? I think it'll be easier to focus on wine and only. I Did you see how excited I was for this? Wine and only, it's already in my current Shop My Stash rotation. It is the one that I want to focus on for today because, I mean not today, this month, because it is basically to me a palette of pops. It is a palette of single shadow goodness which makes it a really great contender for Project Pan because that means um, each day I can kind of focus on one shadow and have it be the star of the show. This palette doesn't really go really, really light and it does go dark, but it's not insanely dark. This is just a matte burgundy and I find that it's beautiful, sheer dot all over the lids or really, really kind of thickly pasted on and both of them are totally fine. And then everything in the middle is a very wearable, medium toned burgundy shade. And so this is definitely the product that is going to be perfect for the current season. I know we are in autumn and mostly people are into like warm oranges and pumpkin spice colors, but for me, this season is all about like getting into those cranberry shades. I mean, colors that remind me of Persephone, you know what I mean? Like dark, grungy, um, pomegranate colors, like pomegranate, rich, um, 
what is that flower that lives in Australia? It's like a spiky pine cone flower. I will find a photo of it and I'll put it here if I can find it. It pairs beautifully with that like dark green foliage. It's that particular shade of burgundy red purple that I love that I feel like the wine and only palette does encapsulate. I wish it had a little bit more red and a little bit less purpley brown, but nevertheless, I feel like the shades in here, the textures are absolutely stunning and especially these shimmers are like they make me gag. They're so beautiful. They're so shimmery. They're so smooth and creamy. It really gives Huda a run for her money. I feel like Huda's eyeshadows are good, but ColourPop does it for $9. So they are spectacular. I can't wait to use that more. 85, a product that was an impulse buy. Wow, people are really coming for me right now. I mean, it's hard to say because I don't really make that many impulse buys that I regret. Um, it's not really like I, I buy something and then I'm like all of a sudden regretting that I bought it. Sometimes I buy something off the cuff, but it's not because it's a mistake. It's it's just that I I can make a snap decision quickly. But for that, I will say I'm going to feature my Essence Lash Princess Mascara. Actually, I don't know. Maybe this is not a good one because I'm going to wear mascara regardless of whether you can see it or not. Let me think on that and then I will be back. Let's see. And then 99, which is the last one, a product that deserves more hype. Oh my gosh, there's so many products that deserve more hype. It's so hard because all I want to do is pan eyeshadows. Um, because that's that's me, right? I'm I'm the eyeshadow queen. Okay, I think I have what I want. A product that deserves more hype is this, the e.l.f. Always Hazy Blush. No one is ever talking about the e.l.f. Always Hazy Blush or any of the other shimmer-infused, primer-infused, the shimmer primer-infused blushes from e.l.f. This is a formula I have ragged on and on and on and on and on and on and on about because I think it is the most luxurious blush formula on the market for the drugstore. I have a shit ton of blush on my face already, so I don't want to layer that much on. Oh, but you can just see the toastiness that that brought to my face, right? And it just evened out. Actually, my blush was pretty patchy from today because I was using the Jill Stewart blush, which has five different petals and each petal is a different color. So when you get it on the brush, sometimes it doesn't distribute super well. And this literally just fixed my blush application. I I love this one and I think it's going to pair really nicely with the Wine and Only and the Cool Toned Lips. I don't think that any of it is going to be clashy clashy. So definitely needs more hype. I feel like I'm the only one screaming into the void about this blush formula and it's so close to having the lid just completely popping off. And if, if I lose this, I think I'm going to buy a replacement. I mean, to me, this looks very, very similar to the Lancome blush in some kind of French name. It feels really similar. It's the one that Hannah Louise Poston uses. Um, so if this died, I would actually buy the Lancome version because I like high-end blushes. But I would not hesitate to recommend this guy. I think it needs way more hype. It is so freaking good. A product in my collection that doesn't get enough love. That's so tricky. I'm going to go through because I have some stuff on the bottom here that I don't really typically dig into because um, I feel like that's that's where I have to go. I can't be looking in like the things on my top drawer. So I'm going to go through my less common drawers and we're going to see what doesn't get enough love from my collection. Okay, I got it. I got a lip color that I feel like definitely I don't even remember how many times I've used this, probably a handful. This is the Liquid Ink in 115 Founder. It is a beautiful kind of orchid red. How do I put this? It's like a purpley red. It definitely looks vampy and grungy from here, but on the skin, it, it pulls purple, and I'm trying to create like a cohesive color story as well for today and this month. If you sheer it out, you can see that it definitely has a bright undertone, and the brightness is not rooted in a very pink look. It's almost you know, like purpley. So I like the idea of having this kind of purpley look, having it paired with this kind of purpley look, which I forgot to swatch, and you can really see the difference here, right? So this almost looks brown, and then you pull it out, and it has like a grungy purple, right? It's a kind of like a dirty purple, and this one is much more like an orchid. So together, I think it would be beautiful even if you mix the shades. That's that in the middle, like having it kind of blend together, and I feel like that would pair really well. Product, um, again, it's in 115, that I definitely feel like could use a little bit more love from my collection. Okay, so when ColourPop released their Oh So Lovely collection, um, the whole thing was themed around fabrics and things like that, and I saw the eyeshadow palette, and I knew I wanted the eyeshadow palette. Then I saw the lipsticks, and the lippy sticks came in a really beautiful shade of colors. I saw the eyeshadow pencils, and it came with super shocks, and the whole thing was too enticing to give up, so I impulse purchased the whole collection, even though what I really wanted was the eyeshadows and the lipsticks and maybe the cheek products, but it's cheaper to get all of it, including the eyeliner, whatever. So long story short, I impulse purchased the whole collection instead of all of the pieces individually. And I'm gonna treat this kind of like a duo, like a duo product, a highlight and a blush together. These are the ColourPop products from that collection. This is in the shade Chiffon and this is in the shade Voile. Both really adorable fabric names. So Chiffon is one of the products that I had it on my list that I wanted to hit pan on in that video that went 
like it did a lot better than I thought it was going to do. This is the product that I wanted to hit pan on in 2022. Listen, we are at the end of 2021 and I have hit a copious amount of pans. So we are already in a good position, but I do want to use more of this. I've shown this before in a video, but this is an absolutely stunning product on the skin. It's just peach glitter. Like there's literally no, um, base in here. Hopefully you can just see that it just reflects the light ever so gently and it creates this gentle pinky sheen on the skin that is so stunning, so beautiful, so like effervescent. Is that the right word? It is just gorgeous. I'm going to put a little bit on the skin right now because I am absolutely beaming to the freaking gods right now. But since it's already happening, I figure putting a little bit more on can't hurt, right? It's already, I'm so metallic already. And hopefully you can see that what I just did to the cheeks was make it glow pink like it actually looks like my cheeks are wet i don't know what ColourPop puts in their super shock glitter formula oh it's the pearlized formula but it is so stunning like how wet you can look i mean i actually look like a juicy wet airbrushed doll i mean i am beyond words <laughs> for how much i love this product i think it's so stunning um and because it's so clear it has a clear base i feel like it would layer well with the other product that i'm trying to pair it with um i think you can also use it in the inner eye corner it just is a really flexible color i am throwing this in for good measure because i love the way that this looks especially i remember in the spring and summertime i was really into the sunburn look that this gave me and enough that i actually did hit pan on this very very dark blush and you can see not only did i hit pan but i did kind of use the edges as well but Voil is another similarly beautiful product. It's a blush, so this is not a highlight from my skin tone at the very least. Um, and because of the texture of the product, because it's a super shock, it lends itself to being blend, blended out, <laughs> blend out, blended out really, really nicely. And it's kind of got a similar sheen kind of thing. So you can see what I like. Um, I feel like that works quite well. So let me count how many products I have. One, two, three, four, five, six. Great. Let's recap because I kind of forget. Product that scrolls up, this is where we're at. So we have a lot of product. I'm gonna say I'd like to use this five or six times in a month, a couple times a week. You know, I film a bunch, that's probably not that unreasonable. I wouldn't wear this under a mask, so not to work, but definitely wanna apply it after that. Lotion, this is for some kind of lotion-y type product. There's no way for me to really like weigh this, but I can say right now, in like without lying, I can see right through it. We are right at the tip of Lumi, right at the, the very, very base of the first word, True Match. So we are just at the tip. I have this much product left. I don't think I'll bring it. I mean, if I can get it down to like lotion, that would be great. I don't anticipate, you know, thinning out, cutting my foundation every single day of the week. But I do think if I do it a few times and I do a couple squirts, it should be fine. I mean, I'm not trying to use this product up by any means. I do like it and I will replace it if I run out. So it's just a nice thing to have. Product that needs more love in my collection. This I want to use at least once a week. So at least four times in the next month. Hopefully more. Hopefully I can blend into other things. Sometimes I've used these as eyeshadow colors or as cheek colors. And so that might be something that will be great for me. But obviously I can't show you progress for this or <laughs> weigh it. I don't think it'll make a difference if I use it four times. But just know between the two of us, this is something that I really want to get a little bit more use out of. Next are the two products that are uh, kind of like an impulse buy. So these two currently both have pan but it would be nice to expand the pan so if i could get it to be even lower this one is starting at a lower point than this one but if i can grow the pan that would be really nice i would like it to kind of reach to the color pop edges but i know for a fact that's kind of wishful thinking maybe on the highlight i can expand to the color pop edges but on this guy i just want to use it a little bit more next we've got a product that is underrated yeah, definitely this. This is the Always Hazy Blush. I'm not going to hit pan on blush, but I want to use this daily because I love this blush and it's fantastic. So this is going to be the one that I reach for. And product of the season, of course, the Why Not palette. I don't have a goal for this. Obviously, it'd be lovely if I could hit pan on an eyeshadow. And y'all know me, I can hit pan on an eyeshadow if it is something that I use with a finger. So it's very possible that, you know, play, play to win, play to wine <laughs> could be something that goes or the one next to it, which is called Cast a... Why am I reading this upside down? Cast a Chateau. Or like cast a shadow. Oh my God, how did they come up with these um, and mull it over? I don't know. I feel like it's very possible that I, I hit pan on any of these, but then again, it's a brand new palette. I literally got it in a couple a couple days ago even. I don't want to exaggerate. I got this relatively recently. So I just want to use it. I mean, this has been right up my alley recently. You're going to see in a favorites video of mine for the month that this kind of color story has been very much so something that I've gra gravitated towards. So let me give you a product shot now of what it looks like relatively new still. I mean, obviously I've only used it a handful of times. I've maybe dipped into this palette five times already. So <laughs> I don't want to be super dramatic and say that it's going to be absolutely busted in a month, but 
if we can get some use in, that's a win for me. You know, I'm not super picky. All right, guys, that is everything. Thank you for staying tuned. I cannot wait to try this project. I love when other people pick the categories for me. I guess I just don't like using my brain. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. I love you, and I will see you again very soon. Bye.